All right. Hey everyone. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to use the scroll view. This component has given me a lot of grief before, um, and it's not quite as intuitive as I'd like to, as I'd like it to be. So um, just going to set up some basic stuff here. Create a blank image. Use the stretch anchor preset, and just uh, put zero zero everywhere so it fills the bounds of our canvas. Then I'm just going to add a scroll view right in the center. Okay, so um, here's the basics of how the scroll view works. You've got two scroll bars, um, one that goes up and down, one that goes left to right. And the important part here is in your scroll view, you're going to want to make sure this content is designated to whatever um, is going to be contained within your scroll view and uh, the viewport as well. The main thing we're going to be concerning ourselves is with the content. So if I'm just going to go into play mode real quick and uh, make sure I can scroll it. So here there's no content here but we can still scroll up and down. The reason that is is because whatever our content here is, um, the height of this, as this uh, decreases or increases you're going to see it's going to affect um, that scroll section. So if we want, what we want to do is we want to add items here and when we want, to, uh, and when we add the items, we want the content to automatically resize itself. So how do you do that? Well, you need two components to kind of make this whole thing work. One is going to be a content size fitter and the other is going to be a vertical layout group. Um, so the vertical layout group is just going to organize the elements of whatever is inside this thing such that they go under each other. Make sure control child size width and height isn't selected. This will cause it to not work. And the content size fitter is going to look at the size um, of the vertical layout group and it's going to actually adjust um, the height of this content game object to contain all those elements. So to do that we just set vertical size to preferred size. Now you'll see the height is zero because there's nothing inside of our vertical layout group yet. So let's just go ahead and create some UI text mesh pros here. We can just call this item. And let's just go ahead and uh, copy and paste it. Now you'll see as I start to add more and more, the vertical layout group is automatically placing it at the bottom of our list. And our content is dynamically resizing to contain it. Um, Let's see how this works in uh, play mode. Yep, seems to be working pretty well. So that's the basics. Um, now that we've covered the basics, I'll just show you a little bit more in depth why this works the way it does. Um, so if we press control child size and uh, height, you'll see this is gonna break it because what's happening here is, okay, so right now it's bugged. It's not, it's not supposed to behave like this. I find that the UI in uh, Unity is sometimes non-deterministic. I'll show you what should happen. Okay. So it should be controlling the uh, size of these elements. And you can see here, when we now when we reduce the height, what happens is that what the vertical uh, layout group will do is if you control the child um, size and height, it's just going to reduce their uh, height with every new element. You'll see now it's 25, now it's 22, now it's 20. So it acts as a constraint to keep it within the height of 181. Now if you have the content size fitter, this is kind of, it's the vertical layout group is trying to constrain it to the available height. So the content size fitter doesn't really, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. But really, you don't want to control the child size. You want the child size to be constant. So leave that turned off. But I guess what happens is if you control the child size, it'll, one element will be trying to squeeze it in the box, and the other, what you really want to do is you want to you want to cause the content to grow. So you don't want to have both the things of those things on they're kind of like um the behavior is conflicting more or less uh but yeah that's pretty much it um then you can click on any of these items select it name them whatever you want 
item one, item two, so on and so forth, whatever you whatever your UI uh, might need. Um, if you want to actually see the checkbox, I think so. Yeah. If we expand the width here, probably same. Yep, same uh, principle. We can just use preferred size here on the content size fitter. And now you can see we have the vertical one over here. This is probably going to be much less commonly used. Um, but yeah, we can just look at the behavior there. I guess this is probably if you have like a really long item or something like that. And you could probably even have the control child size width. But again, this is kind of conflicting behavior, so probably don't do that. All right. Um, that's all for now. Hope you found that useful. Um, yeah, really, I think that scroll views should really come with these two elements already included, but this is kind of the magic spice you need for them to work. All right. See you next time.